Hey guys, this is Valkrin. I've got a new video that stems from the questions I've been getting recently, mostly uh, about what champions I think are currently really strong. So I decided to go ahead and make a video of the god tier solo queue champions. Let's go into it. First up we have Nunu. Nunu is currently the god of the jungle because he has ridiculous potential to just shut down the enemy jungler and control every buff, dragon, baron, and he's great team utility. Thresh is the strongest support right now for solo queue because he has great play making potential. He can save his allies from really far away. And he's just overall, you know, a menace in lane. He's really easy to snowball with. Rise. Rise is really strong in lane with late game scaling. Very easy to play. Weakness, not very good at pushing at all. And doesn't really have reliable wave clear early game. Kassadin. Kassadin dominates lanes against most AP champions. He's very mobile. He's got great late game scaling. Kassadin is a really good snowballing champion. The only problem is there are a lot of champions that do well against Kassadin. Really strong laners can beat Kassadin like Jace. 1v2 swaps are also really effective against Kassadin. But overall, I would say Kassadin's really good if played correctly. Blitzcrank. Blitzcrank is the second best support for solo queue, but I think he's the best playmaker. Because even if you're really far behind, you can always, you know, make a play as Blitzcrank that can put your game, uh, put your team right back in the game. Blitzcrank is pretty weak against tanky bot lanes, and AD carries with uh, escape potential like Ezreal or Tristan. They both can escape from Blitzcrank mid pull. Jace is on this list because he's a very strong lane bully, and he's got crazy good poke mid and late game, while also being very mobile. He can roam and uh, pick up kills very easily and he doesn't have very many counters in lane he jace is if played correctly can beat most matchups mid karthus is on this list because he's got a global ultimate with insane late game scaling while also being a really good champion in 1v2 swap there are a lot of options that you can play at karthus um, his popularity sort of died down because a lot of very strong mid laners have appeared like jace and and whatnot um, but if it, you know you can put Karthus bot lane and you can you can do a lot of cool things with Karthus, um, but he's very weak against strong laners. Trinibir's on this list because he can split push and one v one like no other. He is very very strong in lane and he's got great late game scaling. His weakness is that um, there are a lot of champions with a movement speed and attack speed debuffs like Lee Sin and Nunu and Nasus. And they, they're very effective against Trinomir because he's very dependent upon movement speed and attack speed to get the job done. Sinjur's on this list because he can become an unstoppable threat in a game. And that's exactly what you kind of want in solo queue. You want to win games by being that, that player that, that becomes unstoppable. And Singed is a great option for that because... He creates a lot of lane pressure. He can farm very easily if you choose the proxy farm. But he's weak against early ganks and strong laners, so play accordingly. Ringar is picked or banned every other game in Challenger 2 right now. There are a lot of Ringar-only players. Ringar is very, very strong right now if you don't counterpick him in lane. Mid and late game, Ringar can instantly kill an AD carry or squishy target from stealth leaping out of stealth not to mention so even if you have oracles you it's very very hard to respond in time ringar can usually just instantly kill the ad carry and flash away or he can just choose a split push and take down your inhibitor before you realize it because he is the fastest tower killer in the game right now if you build him ad and you double q a tower it's going to die in less than five seconds mid and late game it's pretty ridiculous Next up, we have Fiddlesticks. Fiddlesticks has a lot of crowd control. He's really, really good in team fights because even if you're playing support, your ultimate's going to do a lot of damage because he's got high base magic damage. And a three-second, uh, you know, a, a three-second fear on a high priority target like an AD carry or an AP carry or something like that that takes them out of the team fight entirely. So Fiddlesticks is definitely really, really strong. Draven is the strongest AD carry in the game right now. He has ridiculous snowball potential and even really strong late game. The only weakness I would say that he has is he has no escape. So, you know, a Twisted Fate can port in on top of him on bot lane and shut him down, or Malphite in a team fight can pretty much land his ultimate on the Draven and shut him down. 
Annie deserves a spot in this list because she's been receiving buffs pretty much every patch leading up until now. She's She's been very strong. I think Annie's been a very good solo queue champion because she's very strong in lane. She's got a two-second stun. It's really easy to gank for her. She dominates team fights. She just does a ton of damage, and she's really easy to use. Twisted Fate will pretty much always be on my list until they just remove his ultimate because the ability Twisted Fate has to pretty much be anywhere on the map after level 6. He can make plays. He can get his team fed. He's just overall really good, and he also has a 1450 range poke wave clear ability that's pretty unique and a two second gold gold card stun laking i mean it's he's just really good he's always been good and he pretty much always will be kinnon is really really good right now kinnon's very lane dominant has great team fight damage and the crowd control kinnon brings to a team fight is really solid the only problem i have with kinnon is i think kinnon is very ultimate dependent if Kinnon doesn't have ultimate late game, then it's it, it, her kit revolves around her ultimate. So that's the only thing I, I can say that's bad about Kinnon. Anyways, guys, uh, thanks for watching. That's all I have for now. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.